Hello my loves, welcome to my channel Sun of Stars, welcome to another future spouse reading. This is going to be episode 4. If you are new on my channel, my name is Cynthia and I have, I'm doing an, a series of future spouse readings and this is episode 4. So if you feel like you enjoy this reading, you can definitely check out the other three episodes. I will link them down in the description box. This reading will also have an extended meaning. We're going to dive very, very deep today uh, on YouTube, but I also am going to um, do an extended version on Patreon. So if you feel like you want to see the extended version, there's a link down in the description box as well for my Patreon, where you will have access to all future spouse extended future spells readings in case you are interested but without further ado for those who are already subscribers of mine welcome back <laughs> i hope you enjoy this reading so what is the topic today the topic is what kind of lover is your future spouse we're gonna look at what kind of lover your future spouse is meaning how do they express love to you how do they make love to you okay um i'm gonna do a different reading which would be going more into the sexual realm meaning what kind of lover are they in bed but today it's just like what kind of lover are they how do they um express love what is their love language how 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 do they express to you that they are deeply in love with you? So we're going to look at the overall energy. What kind of lover are they? What are you going to notice? And then in the extended version of this reading, I'm going to look at how you will notice or what they will do when they are deeply in love with you. So um, when they realize that they're so deeply in love with you, how will they express that deep love that they have for you? Um, how will it show or how will you notice that they are in love with you? That's what we're going to look at in the extended on Patreon. But here on YouTube, it's going to be about what kind of lover are they? How do they express their love? How are they going to make you feel loved? <laughs> okay, so it's basically kind of like their love language. So in the next clip, you can choose between four beautiful images. If you feel drawn to more than one image, go ahead, listen to it. Um, also, if you feel a little bit indecisive, if you can also close your eyes, become one with the meditation music, take a few deep breaths in and out, and then choose between a number, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today. I am excited, and I would say I'm going to see you in your reading, guys. So you chose this beautiful image here. <laughs> I got an intuitive message immediately. <laughs> 
your future spouse is the kind of lover that would send you sexy messages when you are at work or um, they send you sexy messages or like sexy jokes or something like that or messages of like I cannot wait to smell your skin or um, I cannot wait to kiss your lips when they are at work okay there's something about your future spouse although they are busy they're never busy enough to not express their desire or their love for you okay so there's an energy of your future spouse being um, a very busy person in general your future spouse is somebody who has a lot going on there's a lot of things that they have to get accomplished maybe they're also somebody who has a lot of clients who's self-employed who is like um very important in their company but what i'm hearing is i would never be too busy for my man or for my woman depending on what you're looking for okay um there's an energy of your future spouse i pick up such a kind sweet energy here let me show you the card here now on the card you can see there's a lot going on right there's an energy of this could be a meeting this could be um, them talking to clients this could be them being um, surrounded by their co-workers and their colleagues but look at them how they look over their shoulders to make sure that you are feeling good okay to make sure that you still feel loved although they are busy okay there's an energy with your future spouse how no matter if they are busy or not they will always express their <laughs> their desire for you i'm picking up an energy i'm picking up an energy where your future spouse is somebody who again there's something about um involving you into or like making sure that you still it's like they don't forget to water the plant before they go out and you metaphorically speaking you are the plant or you are the roses here do you see that and i think those roses are in a vase do you see that here it makes so much sense with the image that you've chosen it's like they do not forget to water um their plant their woman their man with love and with desire although they have a lot to do okay so there's an energy where your future spouse is probably somebody who's going to call you a lot during their break or during lunch or they could be somebody who um even if they just have like 10 minutes to see you, they will come to you before they go to their job or they go to their clients. There is an energy of your future spouse being somebody, again, they, they it, it almost feels like they know how to balance work and love or work and relationships. So they're the type of lover to um, even surprise you when you are very busy. Let's say you are very busy um, and they know that you're done from or done with work one hour from now they would probably say like hey you know let's go out for a drink just for like 30 minutes although you guys have to get up early in the morning there's something about although I am busy I would never be busy enough to forget to water my beautiful rose you know to make sure that my man or my woman feels loved feels loved or feels desired i even feel an energy here guys is gonna go into the sexual <laughs> um energy but i'm picking up an energy of like doing a quickie before work um or giving you pleasing you orally before work you know like um just to make sure that you are <laughs> pleased for the day does that make sense there's an energy here again this person is very very busy but they're never busy enough to show you that they love you even if they are on a trip um, because of business they would call you like every evening or they would just call you to say good night and tell you that they love you okay there's an energy of they know how to balance work and love or they know how to work uh, they know how to balance work and relationships <laughs> another thing that i'm picking up here with your future spouse now in this card you can see the same energy here just like in the other one right this person is quite busy with whatever they're studying they might be studying they might be reading something they might have a lot to do when it comes to work but do you see how the foot is still stroking or is still um showing affection she's still showing affection to that cat although she is kind of busy okay so your future spouse is a lover who is 
quite a busy person but never busy enough to show you affection or to give you like a very very long kiss before they go to work um, or to pick you up pick you up from work um, although you guys have to get up uh, early in the morning they would stay uh, they would say hey let's you know like take a little walk f uh, for like 10 minutes by the beach or by the ocean or by the water or by a body of water okay there's a strong emphasis here on um, I am busy, but I will never be busy enough for you. <laughs> you see, they're supposed to concentrate on whatever the heck is going on here, but they concentrate on you. They look at you, okay? So you can always count on a message from your future spouse whenever they are at work. Um, they're going to call you during lunch break. Um, <clears throat> they're gonna call you even if they have like a very big day they're not the type of person to say hey i'm gonna call you tomorrow because today is like quite a busy day they will always find at least two minutes to call you to tell you that they love you or to just ask how you are okay i'm picking up an energy it's very interesting what i'm seeing here one i'm seeing here that your future spouse is somebody who's extremely open so that also means um what you're going to notice about your future spouse is that they might be telling you secrets like for example family secrets or secrets in the company or their secret to success there's something about they will be opening up about secrets or about things that they usually don't talk to that's a clear indication that this person is falling in love with you okay i'm also feeling an energy here where your future spouse might be somebody who likes to cook okay so your future spouse could be somebody they express their love to you through cooking through cooking something for you um, making dinner before you come home or inviting you to dinner there's something about um, bonding over food okay so again they could be like a really good cooker or they could be somebody they always want to make sure that you ate so they would probably ask you questions such as did you already eat today or why didn't you eat or did you drink enough okay there's something about making sure that you are nourished that's such a beautiful energy that i pick up here <laughs> i love it it's like um again when you come to their place and you already ate they still will cook something small for you because they want to make sure that you are well fed kind of like an like a grandma you know like a grandma did you eat today why didn't you eat that's the type of energy that i pick up here okay but that's how they express love they might be expressing love through um taking you out to dinner dates to make sure that you ate very well um or um, preparing food for you even though you already said that you ate or something like that or even bringing you food like let's say you had like a very stressful day at work they would be cooking for you I'm also picking up an energy of doing the dishes. So let's say you invite them to your home and you guys cook together. They will also do the dishes I'm picking up here. Okay, they will probably like, a, if they have like a day off of work, they would, ooh, <laughs> I'm seeing a spirit guide here. If they have a day off of work, they will also probably prepare breakfast or something along those lines. Okay, so your future spouse is somebody they, I don't know, they have like a very beautiful balance between I have a lot to do, I have a lot to accomplish, I have a full um, calendar full of appointments, I'm booked and busy, busy and booked, but that does not mean that I forget to water my flower, okay? <laughs> I'm also picking up an energy here if you look at this card um, there's like a beautiful body right so <laughs> I feel like if you just buzz somebody who I think you're gonna distract them a little bit from work nothing bad but I'm picking up an energy here of they might be sending you text messages such as I want to hear your voice or <clears throat> send me like a sexy picture or something like that while they are at work it's almost like even though they are at work all they think about is you or they think about kissing you they think about touching you and they might be texting you that like hey I'm at work it's very stressful but I cannot wait to kiss your lips I cannot wait to kiss your body or to grab your hips or something along those lines okay I'm also feeling an energy here that your future spouse is a, the type of lover that likes to surprise, okay? This is somebody who likes to surprise you and loves to see the smile on your face as you are surprised, okay? Because um, the high priestess does keep secrets, we talked about it, right? On one hand, they're quite open with their secrets, but I also want to say the secret energy that they have um, that is pertaining to you 
um, is all about secrets such as presents or gifts, okay? Um, we have the card here, transparency. <clears throat> And it says honest, authentic, genuine, and present. And the card present, um, I didn't pick it up as the present moment. I picked it up as um, coming home with a present. Now, it doesn't mean a diamond ring all the time. It could even mean they're bringing your favorite food here, okay, with the two of swords. I'm picking up an energy here intuitively. They just like to surprise you. They might even like to bring you to places you've never been before, okay? Um, they might be somebody that really likes to just surprise you, whatever the heck it is. It could be surprising you with a date. This could be surprising you with a little gift. This could literally be surprising you with flowers, like your favorite flowers or something along those lines, okay? I'm also feeling an energy here with your future spouse. Um, the way that they express love, your future spouse, is all about inviting you to... <laughs> I'm feeling here you're going to notice about your future spouse we talked about how they're quite busy and they would try to find a compromise between i'm quite a busy person but how can i bring the love of my life into my schedule uh, without her or him feeling neglected so i'm picking up an energy here where your future spouse let's say they go on a trip for business they would maybe ask you if you want to come with them although they have to work there they would want to invite you to come with them or let's say they have like a big conference that they have to go to they would find a way to kind of like invite you to this event that they have okay i'm also picking up an energy you're going to notice that your future spouse really likes to invite you to their family like family gatherings or gatherings in general when there's a birthday or where there's like a big event um they would want to take you with them so there's a lot of energy of invitation they like to invite you to different uh, places um even I'm, I'm even picking up like places where you're, you, you don't necessarily belong. What I mean by that is, let's say it's a conference, right? Um, <clears throat> um, they would try to find a way, again, to not let the conference or this big event that they have that is concerning their career, um, that this day is not only about career, but it's also about making sure that you feel invited or included, okay? There's an energy of like including you into their very busy schedule and they're gonna make that, um, they're gonna do that in a very charming way, okay? You might feel in the beginning that this person is quite a busy person, but um, then you will see that they invite you a lot, okay? There's something about inviting you a lot to make sure that you do not feel neglected, although they have a busy schedule here, okay? I'm also feeling an energy here. <laughs> I'm feeling an energy here that your future spouse is somebody they like to dance, okay? Um, <clears throat> let me show you the cards and what I'm seeing here. Because I'm seeing an energy here of them... They're the type of lover that likes to cheer you up, okay? So especially if you have bad days, they're not the type of person to leave you on alone on that bad, bad day. They want to talk about it, they want to talk things through, or they it's almost like, how can I explain that? They're the type of lover um, that would listen to you as you speak and try to analyze your subconscious mind or they would try to analyze where your pain, your fear, your doubt comes from. So this is the type of person I, I almost want to say they kind of have like a psychologist energy, not that they necessarily are a psychologist, but they might have like a natural talent to understand the psyche of a human. And when you talk to them talking about like having a bad day, um, there's something about your lover knowing how to... I'm being brought to like Reiki ASMR for some reason, and I'm being brought to how in Reiki ASMR they pluck negative thoughts away and that's what I'm picking up here there's something about um, your future spouse is somebody who likes to analyze or get to the root of the problem but specifically when it comes to your mood or how or why you are feeling down in a particular situation and they're the type of person to it's almost like they're studying you to the point where they know what you need does that make sense so um, they're the type of person to really, they're going to try to understand you 
how your mind is working, almost like a psychologist here, okay? And this could be, again, that they just have a natural talent for it, or this could be that they're literally doing something along those lines, working with clients, helping clients out, okay? And I'm picking up an energy here. Your future spouse is a lover that knows how to make love to your heart. Okay, give me a second here. I'm hearing they know how to make love to your heart when your heart feels down there's something about they know how to make love to you when you feel down oh my god you know because it's easy to make love to somebody when they are like in a good mood but for some reason they have like a very natural like they have a talent or i mean they're your future spouse right i'm just checking the time guys um but they have a talent to make love to you especially on moody days or like let's say you have your period okay they know how to get you out of a funk emotionally that's what i'm picking up here they know what you need in order to um dissolve the rainy clouds in your heart emotionally that's beautiful I'm feeling an energy here there would be i mean let me show that to you this is you know like this person because i feel like that's your future spouse doesn't matter if your future spouse will be male or female but i'm picking up that's them and this is you and you as you can tell like with the dark coat here um this is an energy of like you know feeling down or feeling frustrated feeling moody because life is not perfect there's always things that's gonna that are going to throw us off balance of some sort um and then here you can see how he's taking your hands and he's making you dance under the sunshine here okay so there could be an energy where your future spouse is the type of lover they like to dance with you okay or um they like to put on music to make you happy again or they might dance in front of you very very goofy to make you happy again there's something about um what does a flower need water and the sunshine they know how to make you grow they know how to make you grow i'm even feeling like emotionally grow they're gonna make you um they're gonna help you to grow emotionally and they're going to help you to understand why you why you feel a certain way it's almost like they illuminate what is going on within you okay they have like a very beautiful energy of knowing knowing you so much that they know what you need do you need water or do you need the sunshine but again i also pick up an energy here guys of they probably like to dance or they like to invite you to fun activities this could be like um drinking somewhere or where somewhere where music is playing okay Let's see, let's get a few more cards. Hi, number one. What kind of lover is your future spouse? Mm, I think I want to get other cards here. Give me one second, guys. Which cards are we going to use? I think I want to use those. Hold on. Okay, guys, let's get a few more cards here. What kind of lover is pile number one's future spouse? Three of Cups. <laughs> Your future spouse is a... Again, you see that here? This is a type of person that likes to take you wherever they go. Again, they are a busy person, but somehow they find a way to take you or invite you to places so that you don't feel excluded. I'm hearing um, all inclusive. I'm also feeling an energy here where you will notice that your future spouse likes to hear your opinion, especially when it comes to career. Okay. This is like a very career driven person, but they value love just as much as career okay and on the card here you can also see um 
where is it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, where this person is touching this person's butt, the hand is a little bit down there, okay? So I feel like your future spouse is also somebody who likes to mm, make love to you in public. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not gonna take your clothes off in public. I mean, maybe they do, but that's not what I wanted to say. Um, they're the type of lover they like to kiss in public or they like to hug in public or um, they really like to hold hands in public. And um, there's something about everybody would know that you guys are a couple and everybody would know that they're deeply and madly in love with you because they express that so that's not the type of person that likes to express love only at home they're the type of person to express love even when they are outside with you it's the type of person that maybe would say hey sit on my lap you know they're not they're not shy in public i'm picking up an energy of like um publicly loving you or loving you in public or expressing like everybody and their mama is gonna know that your future spouse is in love with you because they express that very openly it's almost as if they are proud you know like some people they're kind of shy in public they don't want to maybe hold hands or um, they don't want to make a big fuss or they don't want to make a big thing out of their relationship out in public but this person is the type of person or the type of lover that likes to show people that they are in a relationship that they are deeply in love okay this is somebody who openly says that's my baby or i love her with all my heart i love him with all my heart they're gonna express that in front of their dad in front of their mom in front of their friends okay they're very very open very very open here very transparent right and the card already came out here let's see what kind of lover is your future spouse i'm also hearing there are um some you would perceive your future spouse as a lover and a best friend at the same time so you would perceive your future spouse as your best friend okay but also as your lover what kind of lover is your future spouse? Let's see. <laughs> I'm hearing they are romantic in public. <laughs> okay, so um, they would be the type of person to say, that was love at first sight, bro. <laughs> For example, in case you um, date a man um, or if you date a lady, she would say, I fell in love the, f the first moment I saw her. Very, very open here, okay? A very open lover. Ace of Swords, yeah. <laughs> okay, so your future spouse, um, their love language is words of affirmation. So they're very open with speaking about how they love you. Oh, and the King of Swords we have here, you see. the wheel of fortune <clears throat> i'm feeling an energy here where your future spouse is somebody that wow okay that's interesting um hearing your future spouse is somebody that talks very very positively behind your back so um i almost want to say it's like they praise you behind your back or when they talk to friends they tell their friends how amazing you are and how lucky they feel with you there's something about again um your future spouse is a lover that expresses how much they love you to you and to other people and there's something about um for some reason they always mention you um for example you bought them a a shirt and then somebody compliments them on their shirt and they would say oh you know that um i got this from my future wife or my future husband you know like she's very lovely or he's very lovely and she knows me or she really knows my taste so they really like to talk about you okay it's almost like um what i'm picking up here is they really praise you with words not just to your to you but also to other people okay let's see <laughs>
Give me one second, I'm just channeling something here. I'm hearing they, they are the type of lover that could even sometimes overwhelm you a little bit with love. Now, don't get me wrong. This is only for people who feel, because some people, they want love, <laughs> but they are a little, how can I say that? Sometimes it's too much love or too many compliments, but I don't mean that your future spouse will do that. This is only pertaining to the people that have never been in a loving relationship and it might overwhelm you a little bit with how much affection or how much love they give to you. Okay. It's almost like you're not used to this, I'm feeling here. Let's see, what kind of lover is your future spouse? What kind of lover is your future spouse? <laughs> the Seven of Cups again. There's something about your future spouse is the type of lover they always think of you and how you will notice that they always think of you is they will send you a picture of something like let's say you talked about i don't know something specific and then they are in the city and then they're going to see something what you guys talked about and then they're going to send you a message it's almost like you will never question whether or not this person is thinking of you because they actively show you that they're thinking of you day in and day out okay um this is not somebody i i almost want to say i'm picking up an energy here for those of you who have a little bit of resistance in your heart chakra oh damn that's where we are going here okay so um only take this if it resonates with you um, I'm feeling an energy here. If some of you guys have like a um, blockage in your heart chakra or you are not that, um, you feel awkward when a setting is too romantic or you feel awkward saying I love you or you just feel you are not used to that type of energy. I'm feeling here that your future spouse will open up your heart. So one um, big lesson that you will have in this connection is how to love as deeply as you can there's something about the wall that you have in your heart your future spouse will break that wall mm, damn the cards come together you see because the gate was closed okay this is your energy the gate was closed your future spouse will open up your heart again. <clears throat> what I mean by that is I'm feeling an energy here, how they will open up your heart. It's like um, as if they are healing your heart, but specifically pertaining to you finally feeling like you can fully show yourself. This could be your naked body. Also, this card makes sense, right? Where you fully show your naked body, or you don't have a problem walking naked in front of them, okay? Um, no longer feeling shy to say what you think or to show your full body with all its flaws um, or an energy of, because I'm picking up an energy here of intimacy. Now, your future spouse is opening you up to be deeply intimate with them. Even, we talked about it, even the psyche. The psyche, um, even fears or blockages, limiting beliefs. It's like, I'm hearing they want all of you, even the parts that you, you see as flaws. It feels like they, they want all of you. I'm picking up an energy of like they want all of you. So they will, they're the type of lover they want to show you love and affection to the point where you no longer have a wall or like an invisible wall in your heart again in case you do um, resonate with that, okay? Um, I'm picking up an energy here. This goes back to giving gifts. So another love language that they have is definitely giving gifts here. And it's like they want to become one with you, but I feel like in the beginning you have some type of like resistance in your heart chakra, okay? There's something about um, maybe when you get to know them and you know that they're doing all kinds of things, you will ask yourself, 
does this person even have time for me? They do. They will show you that they have time, although they are busy. I'm picking up here, as you guys meet each other, there's something about you've never experienced that much intimacy or you've never experienced being so close to a person but it's not just from skin to skin it's from heart to heart and from soul to soul and it might scare you a little bit in the beginning because you are not used to what intimacy actually truly means does that make sense to you look at that with the two of cups here i don't know if it's in focus there's something about your future spouse. <laughs> I'm being brought to one quote by um, her name is Tia Swan. And she made a, it's not a quote, she did a video on it. What does love really mean? Okay. Um, wow, damn, guys, I love your reading. Um, so in the quote, maybe a swan also represents something to you or... I think teal is a color, right? Teal is a color, I believe. So maybe that is somehow connected to you here. I'm also seeing pearls, okay? Some of you guys, you resonate with pearls, the color purple. I'm also seeing like sea creatures, something with the ocean, or maybe you are drawn to like um, a seahorse or um, just diving in general here or something with the ocean, ocean waves, okay? I just threw that in here <laughs> um so the in the video she says what does love truly mean love means that you see the other person as a part of yourself without separation um and that's what i'm picking up here because i almost want to say that maybe you are a very independent person or maybe you never really received the love or this a strong intimacy maybe it has not even been like a thing in your family to say i love you or to express affection or love okay um or maybe you got damaged in relationships before but what i'm feeling here is you will understand what the word intimacy actually truly means and again there's something about how your energy and this person's energy is merging together where you i'm hearing being scared to be committed to it's almost like being scared to lose yourself in a relationship now in this case here you know like when you give you everything and then there's not much left of you here in this case there's something about There's something about finding you, finding yourself, not losing yourself in the connection, but finding yourself in the connection. Whoa, that's crazy, isn't it? It's about finding yourself in the connection because they mirror to you what your soul needs but what you might be scared of i don't know how this is gonna show up in your connection your future spouse is a lover that is so open about their love to the point where they inspire you to be open too Maybe even being being more open to people in general or being more open to life or being more open to giving love to people. Not just your future spouse, just in general. There's something about your future spouse is loving you so much that they make you walk upon earth with a more open heart. Okay? Okay, my beautiful pie number one, I'm going to extend this reading on Patreon. So um, if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to look at how you will notice that they are deeply in love with you, meaning how are they going to express that they are head over heels in love with you and they only want to wake up next to you day in and day out. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, I'm going to see you on Patreon. And if not, I'm going to see you in the next episode. I love you guys and I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pie number two. So you chose this beautiful image here. Let's find out what kind of lover is your future spouse? How do they express love to you? 
um, how are you going to notice that they really feel love for you? And then in case you are interested in that, I'm going to extend this reading on Patreon where I'm going to look at how you're going to notice that they are deeply in love with you. Like, what are you going to notice about their behavior? Okay, so let's look at your cards. Your interesting is going to be, <laughs> your reading is going to be interesting. I already laid out all your cards. And the first thing that I'm picking up with your future spouse is... First of all, I want to tell you they have a unique way of showing you love because it doesn't, it it feels like a very unique energy to be completely honest. So this is not your, this isn't, I, I even want to say this is a love language that is out of the box or it's not a love language that is written or already has like a label to it. Wow, that's interesting. Where are we going? I don't know. Okay, so it almost feels like their love language is a love language that doesn't have a label yet. Or maybe it does. Maybe we will find out what it is. Or it could be a mixture of different things. But the thing here with your future spouse, I'm picking up an energy that your future spouse, they're the type of lover to make you feel relaxed and cozy and give you a peace of mind okay um why i'm saying that is because we have the seven of pentacles here and that immediately brought me to like a very cozy energy you see like the red light here it's like a very cozy environment um and then i was thinking of like oh this reminds me of like candlelight or this re reminds me of like dimming the lights this reminds me of like a very very cozy space putting on scented candles like spa energy or um even massages okay and then the confirmation came out because we got the queen of swords here and you can see a candle here so the way your future spouse is making love to you or what kind of lover they are they're the type of lover to really relax their person their love i'm picking up an energy of massaging your shoulders or telling you to lay down so they can massage your feet or um they might be somebody who um likes to you know like when you lay on your bed they maybe like to stroke you or like really go over your body and make you feel relaxed i don't know why they might even be for some of you guys they might even be like into they could be like a professional m m masseur do you say masseur they could be like a professional at giving massages or reiki or something like that it doesn't have to be but the way that they show you love is they're making you feel relaxed they're making you feel like you can let all your worries behind okay because again i'm picking up an energy here of it's it's like as if you when you are in your future spouse's presence they make you breathe deeply and slowly again i'm picking up massaging you telling you to lay on the bed um because they're gonna make love to you oh damn where are we going where are we going <laughs> Okay, because I'm being brought to like a Himalayan salt lamp, like a Himalayan, like like a orange light or a red light, you know, like really, it's erotic, but at the same time, very comforting and very <clears throat> cozy. So they're the type of person, when you feel stressed from the hustle and bustle, they're the type of person to um, tell you to lay down and they're going to give you a massage. Um, they're the type of person to when you feel stressed there's something about I don't know why it is so intense in your reading but there's something about you might meet your future spouse in a chapter in your life where life is a little bit chaotic or life could be very overwhelming or life could be very demanding okay because I'm picking up that energy here there's something about even if you look at those curtains right it's like a it's like a mysterious dark energy but not dark as a negative but dark as in cozy with um, a little lamp or dimmed lights okay and I'm picking up an energy here you come 
I'm, I'm going to give you a scenario you come you're meeting your future spouse or you're driving to their place and you tell them that my day was so stressed and uh, I, I'm so stressed or I, I feel like I cannot relax or they even are going to feel that you have tension in your body I'm picking up an energy where your future spouse is like touching your neck or your shoulders and they're gonna say oh baby why are you so stiff okay um whoa okay it's almost as if they're the type of lover to re to make you release tension from your body so they would be the type of person to tell you just lay on your back and i'm going to go down on you okay for example and uh, like you felt very very stressed throughout the day and they all they want to they want to make sure that you can drop your shoulders that you can let your hair loose okay um it's like a very sensual energy that i pick up here it's almost as if again if i could describe it in one sentence as if they feel that you have stiffness in your neck or in your shoulders and then they're gonna touch that part of your body and they're gonna make love to your body but what i want to say is how they make love to your body is the intention is to make you feel relaxed okay it's interesting because it's not even a selfish energy because sometimes one wants to get closer to another person's body to have pleasure but it almost feels like they want you to feel relaxed okay it could be because of circumstances when you meet them there is a specific event happening in your life or in general you are a person you find it hard to relax because you are a workaholic or you work a lot okay um there's something about a very cozy energy here so they're gonna make love to you to make you feel relaxed and to make you release tension from your body okay they're gonna open up your legs and make love to you between your legs so that you relax <laughs> So that you relax okay they're gonna put on like candles and stuff like that now don't get me wrong i do not i would not say that your future spouse is romantic um your future spouse is somebody they the queen of swords is not a romantic energy at all but what i was describing sounds very romantic now um hear me out the energy that i pick up here is your future spouse is somebody who's very analytical and they don't put candles on because it is romantic they put candles on because they know that candles relax you or because they know that you like candles or maybe they know that you are into meditation music they're going to put on meditation music so it's not about you know like this um dying romantic energy of romeo and juliet it's more so um i'm hearing i got what you need okay so they will look at you and analyze what you need man that is the anal analytical future spouse here again i don't know if you guys catch my drift the analytical uh, future spouse who likes to analyze a lot of stuff that's him or her okay <laughs> so there's something about analyzing you and analyzing what you need but i more so want to say they do analyze that in your body language okay yeah they're very curious if you just pass as somebody for some reason they find a lot of pleasure in solving problems or solving or dis dissolving something making something disappear mm -hmm. okay so the way that they show love to you is about solving your problems or fixing your problems. Now this could be small things such as you feel stressed. The solution is to make you feel calm. Um, this could also be that you have to get some documents done. And again, I don't feel like you are going to ask them because you, I also pick a, pick a very independent energy up from you. But they're gonna, acts of service, it is acts of service, yeah. That's the love language, acts of service. But again, it goes a little bit deeper than that. It almost feels like, let me take all your worries away or let me take the stress away. Let me... wow that's so interesting let me give you a peace of mind like i want to give you peace 
Isn't that interesting? So it's acts of service, but it's like a, I'm hearing the language of peace. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> okay. Um, we also have the Cartier Sanctuary. It all makes sense, right? It says privacy, inviolate personal space, respected boundaries and taboos. And we have candles here as well. So your future spouse would be the type of person they probably uh, like to shower with you, okay? Um, they probably are the lover that likes to have fun with you in water. Um, so meaning like taking a bath together, um, taking a shower together when you guys go traveling um, Maybe they like to have sex in the ocean in case that's possible. Okay, we're having sex under the shower or um, By a body of water or something along those lines, but at the same time it is again It's something about like you coming home and they see that you're stressed and they're gonna say hey Why don't you take a bath or they would be the type of person to prepare a bath for you? Okay, um for others of you, I'm picking up an energy here. Your future spouse could also be somebody who... There's something about, let me take your stress away. So keep it short and simple, let me take your stress away. That's how they express love to you. The Ace of Swords. On this card, you can see there's a plane. And what do you do when you feel stressed? Sometimes it's, it's a sign of maybe one should take a trip. So they could be a lover that likes to take you on vacation. They could be somebody that likes to go to massages with you, for example, or spa, going to a spa, going to... Um, it's all about relaxation. So whatever you can think of, they might be into that or they might be they might feel like you need it at the point in time where you guys meet and that's how they're going to express the love to you there's something about they want you they don't want you to have worries there's i i, I it's so intense here because here you can see like a head right and the ace of swords is usually like a clear mind or a clear-headed mind or being very, very calm, um, specifically when it comes to your mind, okay? No racing thoughts or something along those lines. So the way that they express love is taking your racing thoughts away or um, they're the type of person to tell you, hey, babe, you need a break. You know, let me, you know, let me um, book a trip for us. You need a break. You're like overworked or something like that. They don't want you to stress and they don't want you to burn yourself out. That's how they express love. Through making you feel like you can lay your head on my shoulders. <laughs> it's almost like you can lean on to them. Like you don't have to be so stressed they are with you. That's interesting, isn't it? Another thing that I want to tell you guys, okay, your future spouse is a, a gentleman on the streets or a lady on the streets, but a freak in the sheets. <laughs> Let me tell you, okay, in the beginning where you meet them, you might think or perceive them as somebody who's like serious or somebody who's like very responsible um somebody who is very analytical somebody who's very uh, full of knowledge um somebody who's very career, not career driven but i want to say futuristic meaning they plan a lot ahead for the future okay um and you wouldn't even think what they're gonna do in bed I'm letting you know. The next reading that I'm going to do is how your future spouse is going to be in bed. So in case you are interested in that, um, you can subscribe or just keep an eye out for it. Because <laughs> that's like, you know, how we get to know the energy, what kind of lover are they. But then the next one is like the whole shebang. <laughs> um, I'm feeling here that there is something about... They want to make all your sexual and sensual desires happen. So if you have special requests, okay, if you have fantasies when it comes to 
what happens in bed or um, when it comes to how you want to express your sexuality. This could even be like having sex in the ocean, okay? Or having sex in the car, whatever the heck it is. They are very, very interested in finding out, I'm hearing what makes you tick or they're very very interested in your sexual fantasies okay so um as soon as you guys get to know each other you will notice that they have a lot of questions about what you like in bed okay um they want to know what you like in bed they want to know what you want to experience and they're very much open for everything so whatever the heck you like um they're gonna try it with you there's something about um I'm hearing you're my baby, okay? And when I say that I'm being brought to literally a baby, okay? But what I want to say is um, the energy that I pick up here is they're going to treat you like their baby, you know, like somebody that you want to take care of. And, um, you know, a baby should not worry about food because m mom or dad has the food so there's something about they do not want you to worry because they are with you man that's lovely it's like there's an energy here of the way that they express their love to you is very much about you feeling like you can lay your head on their shoulders and don't worry anymore whatever the heck that means okay I'm feeling here your future spouse is a lover that likes to discover they like to discover I'm even being brought to they're gonna look at your reaction when they kiss you in different places to know oh that really turns pie number two on very analytical we come back to the analytical energy here interesting let's see what kind of what kind of lover is pile number two's future spouse what kind of lover is pile number two's future spouse i'm also being brought to i'm being brought to they want you to slow down in life, okay? So they might be noticing that you're always on the go or that you work a lot or that you worry a lot and they just want you to slow down and enjoy life. Interesting, interesting. Look at that, it's almost like with the card that you've chosen, with the picture that you've chosen, I'm being brought to somebody who went for a run and then there's your future spouse here drink some water like calm down does that make sense there's something about calm down i'm i'm hearing calm down i'm handling the situation or um i'm gonna again they they are into like fixing problems or fixing something they're the type of person to do the calls for you or look at that energy it's almost like go take a shower i'm gonna handle this i'm gonna i'm gonna do it do you see that they're like very much they want to be I'm hearing you deserve it so they might see that you are somebody who is very like <clears throat> who works a lot or somebody who is just very appreciative you know because ungrateful people you know like you're less likely you feel less likely drawn to doing things for them so maybe they really appreciate how grateful you are or your gratitude is going to make them feel like they want to do more and more and more for you i don't know why this is coming through here Okay, what kind of lover is pile number two's future spouse? What's up? The sun card. I think the sun card is almost in every pile here. We come back to when I said like 
them perceiving you as like again you are their baby okay and there's something about I want my baby to be happy or I want my baby not to stress over things I'm gonna deal with the stress so they're gonna deal with the stress while you have fun that's interesting What kind of lover is your future spouse here? I'm hearing they are the light at the end of the tunnel. So it's like after a long, long journey of like, I don't know, I think you're gonna meet them. It's a very significant time in your life when you meet your future spouse. There's something about, how can I even express that? It feels like, you are in the desert and you're looking for water and then you meet your future spouse and they have a glass of water that's what it feels like okay. what kind of lover is your future spouse again that's they're not really romantic i'm not seeing that they are the romantic type they are the type to do acts of service, okay? But the reason behind that is because they want you to feel peaceful or they, they want you to enjoy life, okay? Eight of Cups. What kind of lover are they? <gasps> Guys! <laughs> what the heck is going on here? We talked about um somebody being in a desert and they're looking for water now this person is not necessarily in the desert but we talked about a body of water in the beginning right there's something about water that is very important here okay maybe ta them taking you to a place by the ocean hold on Now, if you look at this card, there's one cup missing. Do you see that? And this person is... The Eight of Cups means something is missing and I need to leave. Now, what is missing is this cup here. So, the way that they show you that they love you is they're gonna give you what you feel like you are missing. So, let's say, for example, I'm gonna say you express to your future spouse that back in the days, you had to grow up very, very fast and you didn't have the ability to go clubbing or to um, go dancing because you had to take care of your siblings, okay? Um, and that you feel like you kind of missed out on life when you were younger. Again, your future spouse is very analytical. They're gonna feel like, well, if you didn't have that when you were younger, maybe I can give that to you now. Maybe I can go to parties with you, or maybe I can um, be the one to make something possible for you. Does that make sense? Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Can I say something? I feel like your future spouse will make you cry a lot, but it's tears of happiness okay what kind of lover are they what's going on here what kind of lover are they the wheel of fortune bitches <laughs> uh, uh, uh. they are what kind of lover are they i'm i'm hearing they want to make everything possible for you what does that mean i don't know Two of Wands, yeah. And the Fool. They want you to be as carefree as possible, which is, it almost feels like they're gonna take on your burden or your stress or, I don't know what the heck that is. It, it's, it's, this is a lover that has pleasure in 
seeing their partner smile without worries. It feels like they are going to somehow feel the need to make something possible for you. I don't know what exactly it is. This could be a trip. This could be a specific, a specific experience. Let's even say you are going to be honest to your future spouse and tell them I've never had an, uh, I've never had a peak or I've never had um, a real orgasm. That's their call. <laughs> Okay, to make it happen, there's something about I've never had, I've never experienced it. Could be small things such as I always wanted to eat lobster but I've never done it, okay? There's something about when you say you've never done something, you've never had something, you've never experienced something, they want to be the one to bless you with that experience. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, let's see, what kind of lover is your future spouse? Again, I'm going to extend this reading where we're going to look at um, how you're going to notice that they are deeply in love with you. Like, what are the signs? What are you going to notice? So if you're interested in that, you can see me on Patreon. <laughs> let's see, what kind of lover is your future spouse? What's up? We have the five of wands. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that is. Okay, this is gonna sound dramatic. Now hear me out. I'm hearing I'm going to war for you. Okay, and when I say that, it feels like I'm not going to let you deal with this shit. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I have no idea what exactly they mean, but it's like, I'm not going to let you deal with this shit or I'm not going to let you deal with this grumpy service. I'm gonna do it. Or paperwork, I'm not gonna let you deal with this pain in the ass paperwork. I'm gonna do it. Two of Wands again. I'm hearing they want to show you the world or they want to show you the city. They want to show you something. What do they want to show you? Okay, give me one second, guys. What do they want to show you? <sighs> what they want to show you. You know what guys so that's the card i cannot really show it because we are on youtube um but we talked about it in the beginning where they will feel like they just want you to lay down and breathe in and breathe out and they're gonna deal with the shit <laughs> i don't know what it means okay but i want to read out this card from the guidebook for some reason okay so give me one second Ten of cups. Mm -hmm. So it says, the magic of the chalice, the attachment between partners orients the relationship towards continuity and it's necessary to form a happy family. Oh, okay. So they might want to show you. Wow. I'm hearing they want to show you how beautiful you are. Okay. They want to show you everything that is possible in life. There's something about, I want to show you what is possible or I want to show you how beautiful you are. Wow, you see, but I feel like they're not romantic, but they, for them, it's truth. It doesn't necessarily have to mean, like it's not the, how can I even explain it? They might turn into a romantic person, but they're not in the beginning. It will look like acts of services in the beginning, but then um, as the con uh, connection goes further, you will notice that they do things that they're not they don't even have to do it. And you didn't even ask for it, but it's almost as if 
I'm hearing as if they perceive you as somebody who, like a queen or a king, that shouldn't be dealing with this type of treatment. Let's say it's like a grumpy customer service. They feel like you're such a kind-hearted, sweet soul. You shouldn't be dealing with that. Or you shouldn't, you shouldn't. It almost feels like they don't want you to experience something. Sp like, like negative experience. They don't want you to experience them. What the heck is going on here? Or this could be an energy, guys. I'm also picking up here of like you suffered enough like this it, i don't want that or i don't want my partner to suffer due to a capitalistic or a world full of capitalism for example or i don't want my pregnant woman to still go to work and have some extra burden does that make sense um I'm going to take care of it that she can stay at home for example or let's turn turn it around if it um, if you are um, somebody who's looking for a lady or like a guy I don't know I get like <laughs> my mind is everywhere but it's like let's say they they're gonna carry you on their back so that you don't have to walk in your very painful heels okay um, there's something about, I want to take the stress and the pain away from you, whatever the heck that means, okay? What kind of lover are they? What kind of lover are they? Nine of Pentacles, yeah, it's like... I'm hearing, I know you can do this on your own, but know that i am there if you need me okay so the interesting thing is your future spouse is somebody who would really like to take control hear me out would like to take control of maybe a messy situation in your life or fix something or um help you to release a burden they know that you can do this on your own but they would also suggest that i'm also here so the interesting thing is, which I find beautiful, they see that you are strong enough to, to do it because um, in the beginning it might have sounded like they don't trust that you can achieve it or that you can do this on your own. They do. They see that you have, that you are strong enough or that you are misindependent, that you are just a very, very... Um, interesting soul that is about to achieve a lot or knows how to handle stress knows how to handle burdens but it's almost as if they're going to give you the option of I am here if you need me and I can take care of it too okay so they give you free will it's not like they are overpowering or trying to be dominant in that situation I'm picking up the energy of giving you a choice here What kind of lover are they? I'm also feeling here, <laughs> it's like a little side note, but I'm also picking up, I'm seeing specific like a scenario here where you guys are laying in bed and um, you're saying, <clears throat> I have so much stuff to do today. Um, they would be like, come on, like lay in bed with me for one more hour coming back to the relaxation energy right <laughs> it says if they're the type of lover to they don't want you to say that is not possible they want to be the person that makes it possible so there could be an energy of your future spouse being somebody who doesn't believe in i can't or the impossible they don't believe in that they might be somebody who likes to show you what is possible or that they are the person that could make it possible for you to experience that, to see that, to feel that feeling, okay?
this goes very very deep here i'm even picking up um for example if you say you've really opened up about like you've never had like a good relationship with your father or your mother and for that reason there was a lack of something they really take what they what you say they take it to heart okay it's as if they can feel your pain or they can really under your future spouse is somebody who's very compassionate again it doesn't look like it in the beginning because they seem to be somebody who relies on their logic as if they um as if they are just a very analytical person and they think a lot um but it almost feels like i'm hearing your pain as my pain so when they see you doing or experiencing something it hurts them too as if you guys are not separate which is also the meaning actually behind twin flames and i don't like that word where i don't use it usually but it's like um they feel your pain and for that reason they don't want you to feel pain i don't know how else to explain it okay this is somebody who always watches watches over you okay your future spouse is a lover that is very i'm hearing they're very concerned with huh give me one second guys picking up an energy here pile number two um it's almost as if your future spouse will perceive you as somebody who deserves so much more than what they have or um let's say you you work in the company and your future spouse would say baby you have so much potential to become a manager or to take on a bigger position it's like you can have or do so much more it's like don't settle for small things there's something about they don't want you they don't want you to settle for small things or for the word i can't or impossible or something like that so they might also even be like a motivational speaker here as well we also have the king and the queen of swords here so there's something about bonding through conversations okay okay my beautiful pile number two i'm going to extend this reading on patreon now we're going to look at how you're going to notice that they are head over heels for you okay um but overall again there's something about you can have more, do more, be more, and I'm here if you're ready, or I'm here to show you that it is possible, or I'm here to back you up, I'm your backbone, or something like that, okay? I'm going to see you on Patreon, and if not, I'm going to see you in the next one, and we're gonna, we're gonna be very, very spicy in the next one. <laughs> bye guys hello my beautiful pile number three how are you guys doing so you chose this beautiful image here let's find out how will your future spouse make love to you well the next episode episode five will be how will they make love to you in bed but today is how will they love you other than <laughs> what we do in bed <laughs> okay so let's see what kind of lover is your future spouse? I'm also going to extend this reading on Patreon in case somebody's interested. We're going to look at how you will notice that they are in love with you if you're interested in that. But let's dive into your reading. <clears throat> so the cards that came out for you, we have your beauty, we have grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. So the first thing that I'm seeing here is your future spouse is a lover that really appreciates your beauty okay now hear me out um it feels like an energy where you will notice that your future spouse really likes to look at you okay um they could be giving you a lot of compliments but it could also be just the way you they look at you you might 
catch them looking at you for no reason. You're doing something, you're reading something, and they're looking at you without any there no words are spoken and then you're gonna ask them why are you looking at me and then they're gonna say oh nothing you know but what they actually why they actually looked at you that way hold on guys okay <laughs> but why they why they looked at you that way is because they are in awe of your beauty okay they really perceive perceive you as somebody who's extremely handsome or extremely beautiful of course beauty is in the eyes of the beholder but it's almost as if they are so mesmerized by your beauty that you will catch them looking at you for no reason okay so i almost want to say there is an energy of admiration that i pick up here an energy of complimenting you this might even be complimenting you on your characteristics you know that they're gonna say i really like that you're so compassionate okay so you're gonna notice that they really compliment you a lot or they might be really looking at you very intensely and there's no specific reason you know they could look everywhere in the room but their eyes are on you and i also want to say there is an energy of I wouldn't be surprised if your future spouse is somebody who likes to enhance your beauty. What I mean by that is if you say you find earrings really, really beautiful, they would probably buy those earrings because they feel like those earrings really enhance your eyes, okay? So there could be an energy where your future spouse really wants you to look really, really good or... Um, it's almost as if they're going to make you even more beautiful than you already are by let's say you let's say for example there's a red lipstick and you say I don't know if it suits me I actually like red lipstick but I feel like my lips are too small or whatever your future spouse would be the type of person to say listen you look amazing with that red lipstick okay um, there's something about really, really admiring you from afar as if they are so proud to be with you. And for some reason, I keep feeling like they're gonna stare at your face a lot. There's something about they cannot believe how beautiful you are, okay? And you're gonna notice that either because they buy, let's say they buy little gifts for you that they think would look good on you like i think this red dress would look really good on you for example or you mentioned something and they might you know like buy what you have mentioned the dress or something along those lines okay um there's something about for some reason i'm gonna tell you what i'm feeling here it feels like they're they're smelling your hair and they feel like it's such a beautiful scent or like your skin it's as if they really admire like let's say you have soft skin as if they oh that's what i'm picking up here your future spouse is a lover that is all about the five senses the way somebody sounds smells feels and tastes so they're going to really enjoy everything about you the way you taste and i mean taste okay <laughs> the way that you smell your scent the way that you feel and they're probably going to express that too there's something about you will maybe hear like oh my god i love how you smell or i love your skin or um i love the perfume that you wear there's something about again there there are five senses every sense is involved here okay um I'm hearing you taste really sweet. I'm gonna leave it at that, okay? This could be your lips. <laughs> this could also be something else, okay? <laughs> um, but overall, I'm feeling here your future spouse is a lover that is somebody who likes to explore, okay? And it feels like they like to explore every inch of your body I'm gonna be blunt here um, 
there could be an energy where your future spouse, the way they are a lover that likes to seduce but also likes to be seduced, okay? So for some reason, I keep hearing their words. I hear them saying, you drive me crazy. And I'm seeing how they're like touching your hair and smelling like just um, your scent on your neck. So you're gonna notice that they say you drive me crazy or um, maybe you are going to see that when you go out together and you wear something that they cannot take their eyes off of you. So your future spouse is the kind of lover that really appreciates your beauty and that really appreciates um, just looking at you as if you are an art piece or don't get me wrong they like to enjoy you as well but it's as if they are like fascinated with your energy so i would say they are a lover that likes to observe you okay they like to observe you but they also like to explore in bed okay so they're the type of lover they like to explore in bed they like to uh, try crazy Kama Sutra positions <laughs> they like to um, try crazy things in bed and um, I'm also picking up an energy here there's something about them noticing little things about your body it's as if you consume them not in a bad way. Okay, your reading goes into a sexual energy, most definitely. Um, they're the type of lover that shows you how much they crave you, how much they love every inch of your body. They like to do wild and crazy things in bed and for some reason I also pick up an energy here with your future spouse that they to me they seem to be somebody who is like a um, not a you say a hopeless romantic but I don't like the word it's like a hopeful romantic but it's like a it's not a corny romantic I would say it's a funny romantic okay so they're a very funny person but also very romantic so sometimes they drop really romantic sentences or words but then they mm, they wrap it around a joke or something along those lines okay um, It's as if they want to show you that whatever you wish to have, they can give it to you. I don't know what exactly that means. It it feels to me it feels like um, this is somebody who likes to make sure that you feel desirable this is a lover that makes you feel sexy and desirable because they crave you so much because you drive them crazy okay i want to say once you are in this relationship you're gonna feel extremely i mean always feel sexy okay you're sexy from head to toe but i want to say the way that they kiss you or the way that they talk to you makes you realize like I'm just a normal person calm down but for them it's like you for them it's like you really drive them crazy I don't know what you do your energy must be extremely strong I feel like you have a seductress energy okay you have a seductress energy maybe you are the type of people that also um, are into Tantra um, or like a kundalini okay um, or sexual healing or sexual magic or um, an energy of feeling like a goddess feeling like a god okay because I'm picking up there's so 
it almost feels like you will leave them speechless because they don't know why they are so crazy over you. I'm hearing crazy in love and I'm hearing it's like, um, let's get a few cards here. They cannot get enough of you, okay? This is the lover, a type of lover that cannot get enough of you. Okay, I'm also hearing um, they're the type of lover to again try different things. Okay, they're very, very open with their sexuality, but they feel like it feels like you, <laughs> for some reason, I'm picking up as if you did like it's not that you did that, but your energy is so sexually magnetic to them that they feel like they go crazy. Or something about they don't, they, the sexual attraction is way more intense than they're used to. Okay, so, because hmm, I was thinking we talk a lot about your energy, right? Although it's a reading about your future spouse and how, what kind of lover they are. They are the type of lover to shine the light on you. Does that make sense? They're the type of lover to shine the light on you. You are the star of the show. <laughs> and the show can mean a lot of things. <laughs> okay, there's something about admiring you, admiring your naked body. Um, telling you how much they admire you but you are kind of like the star of the show I don't know in what way but the 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 spotlight is on you we talked about it right look at how the spotlight is on the moon and the moon is like a very magnetic mysterious energy here this is I would say your future spouse is a selfless lover they would rather want for you to moan and scream than for them it brings them pleasure to see you go crazy before they go crazy. Does that make sense? What kind of lover is your future spouse? Let's see. Seven of Cups. What kind of lover is your future spouse? <laughs> it's the same energy as pie number two i don't know why they're all connected today i'm hearing i can already see marriage energy here i don't know why it goes very very fast here i don't know why <laughs> um they are the type of lover to really spoil you. We talked about it in the beginning. Now with the 10 of pentacles in this case, it's like they like to pay for your nails. They like to pay for, for your perfume. They like to pay for a new dress. Um, they like to pay for your hair. Okay. In case you are a lady or if you're looking for a lady or whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. If you are a guy watching, this is an energy where, yeah, she would buy you like a very, very expensive polo shirt because she knows you will look sexy in it, you know? <laughs> There's something about, I think you would look sexy in that. It's, it's as if, oh, it's as if they want to see you shine. Your future spouse wants to see you shine and then they want, then, then they want to enjoy you. Okay, that's interesting. That's very, very interesting here. Okay, that came through. They're the type of lover, they like to see your face when you enjoy yourself, when you're moaning. They like to look into your eyes. They really like to look at your lips as if they, it's a deep admiration, man. 
It's like they cannot get enough of you. Just looking at your lips drives them crazy. You see? But again, I feel like they are like a selfless lover. They are a selfless lover. We have here Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Justice card, twice here in the Four of Wands. That is point blank period marriage. <laughs> so there could be an energy where they're the type of lover to already make you feel like you are their wife or their husband before you guys are even in the marriage. They might even call you that, okay? Even, even though you guys are just in a relationship and not quite there yet. I'm hearing they would take a chance on you. Oh, hold on. Your future spouse would tell you you are the one for me. <laughs> they will say it. They would tell you you are the type, you are the one that I want to marry, but it's like they would tell you you are the one for me. Or you are the perfect partner for me. They will let you know. And people will be like, because I'm picking up an energy here where they might say it very early on, like very early stages. They might even say it was love at first sight or I knew you would be my wife or my husband when I saw you. And other people would say, how do you know that? That's so stupid or that's risky or um, you're acting like a fool. You don't know this person um, too much. Okay. It's like they would tell you that you that you are the one they have been looking for. So if I could describe your future spouse as a lover, as a lover, they are somebody that assures you that they chose you. So you're gonna feel chosen. They it feels like they're gonna assure you that they know you are the one for them. Okay. I'm hearing they're the type of lover that doesn't believe in coincidence. They don't believe in coincidence, they believe in destiny. And they feel like you are their destiny. Okay. They are the type of lover to they want to do something wild with you, so I would say your future spouse is a wild lover. Maybe in bed or maybe just in general, that they want to experience wild things with you. Okay. I'm hearing that's going to be a wild ride. What kind of lover are they? Fast. I knew it. Fast. Fast. Oh my god. Give me one second. You're probably also going to be overwhelmed when they are in your life. We talked about they will let you know that you are the one for them. Look at that. The one. And I also said you are the star of the show. Look at it. And I also said they're going to like admire your whole body. Look at it. And then with the Knight of Swords, they might be asking for your hand very fast too. So in case you are in your tradition, in your religion, um, you have to um, know if you want to marry this person quite early on before the connection goes to the next level, this is definitely your pile because they're gonna know. They are very fast with letting you know that you are the one for them. They fell head over heels in love with you. Love at first sight. It's very, very fast. They are a fast lover. Like, 
Um, when I say fast, they are somebody who doesn't like to think too much. They just go with their gut feeling. And their gut feeling tells them that you are the one for them. What kind of lover are they? Three of Cups, and why is the Knight of Swords here? <laughs> the card came out again. Oh my god, man. The Knight of Swords and the Star card tells me, again, there's something about... They're the kind of lover that falls in love very, very fast. Now, I don't know if they, in general, fall in love very fast, but they will fall very... They will fall in love with you very, very fast. They're gonna tell you very, very fast that they are in love, that they see a future with you. They're the type of lover to know. Wow, yeah, that's what it is. They are a lover that knows what they want and they want you. So this is not somebody who's indecisive. They know exactly what they want. Okay. What kind of lover is pie number three's future spouse? I'm also feeling here. Oh. They like pictures. They really appreciate and they hold pictures very near and dear to their heart. So you're gonna notice that they like to take a lot of pictures with you because I'm seeing like a like an um like a book full of pictures with you guys together. So there's something about taking pictures. So you will notice they like to take pictures. We talked about it, they like your face. Something about they like to take pictures with you or they're really all about like taking pictures, making memories. Um, they have the pictures at their wall at home. Um, their wallpaper might be a picture of you two together. There's something about pictures. I'm also hearing picture perfect. So to them you are picture perfect and again, um, the reading is usually or is supposed to be about how what kind of lover your future spouse is but the light is on you okay what kind of lover is your future spouse and again i feel like they are like a very goofy person okay um they're gonna crack a lot of jokes i feel like even in bed you guys are gonna crack a lot of jokes or there might be things that are happening between the two of you that make you guys make you guys laugh okay um <laughs> kind of like insiders that people it's stories that stay in the bedroom for example <laughs> or it's um just things that you know like insider jokes of some sort okay And now, and now, um, they might be a person, they might be a lover who, how can I say that? <clears throat> they are a lover that always surprises you. I don't necessarily mean with gifts but with how they show you that they love you. It's always a surprise because it's like, I'm hearing they really mean it. So there might be an energy where you are surprised that they really mean what they say because you've encountered people who said stuff and didn't keep their word. I'm hearing they really mean what they say and it's gonna surprise the heck out of you. They mean what they say. So you might even not you might even question them if they really love you or if they are really in love with you so fast, but they really mean it, okay? And you're gonna be like, and now? <laughs> they really mean it, okay? I'm feeling here, mm, they're the type of lover that um, ruins the headboard, 
They're the type of lover that um, where the bed is like um, making very loud noises, where the neighbors might be. I'm hearing, I bet the neighbors know my name. <laughs> okay, they are, ooh, ooh, ooh. You're gonna have the time of your life when you guys are in bed. Not gonna lie. Oh, goodness. Why am I seeing all of that here? <laughs> I need to get out of here. Because <laughs> I'm seeing how they turn you around from one side to another. And I'm feeling here, it's like... Um, They really want to make sure that you're tired afterwards. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? Mm -hmm. There's something about music and dancing that is very important here. I feel like this is the type of lover that would maybe sing like a song to you or like dedicate a song to you, but they would, I, I'm seeing them actually singing it to you, but it's not necessarily romantic, it's more funny, okay? So there's something about like goofy dancing or like um, singing, karaoke, um, or um, when they put on a song, they're gonna dedicate it to you, you know, like and sing it to you, but in a, like, in a funny way I'm picking up here. Oh, child. Your future spouse is a very, um, is a dominant lover, but dominant loving. Don't get me wrong, okay? They're not gonna decide things because they want to and you don't agree with them, not at all. But they're the type of person to take charge, to take control, meaning um, you don't have to worry about much. They're gonna say, I think I should meet your dad, or do you know what I mean? It's kind of like um, you, oh, that's interesting, okay? So if you have been in connections where you would where you would have to initiate things and you would have to ask for dates and you would have to ask, hey, do you love me? It's going to be the other way around. They're going to initiate a lot. They will be the person to ask you, do you love me? I want to be in a relationship with you. I want to meet your parents. They're all about taking control or um, they're all about, they are going to take the lead in the relationship, okay? You're just sitting there, sit back and relax and they're going to, take the lead there's no question of i'm not sure or i'm thinking about it no this person is very determined they are very um they take control in life okay your future spouse is the type of lover that likes to talk too so the interesting thing here that i'm picking up is this is somebody that you can talk to for hours after you guys had sex, okay? So this is not the type of person that would like fall asleep, which is no problem with that, but they would like to talk after, have like a good talk, you know? Um, I'm hearing, they might even be a, a lover that likes to feed you, okay? That goes into a different direction, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but overall there's something about them be being extremely sure about you my beautiful pile number three i'm going to extend this reading now on patreon we're going to look at how you're going to notice that they're head over heels in love with you in the beginning what kind of like changes in their behavior you are going to notice <laughs> so if you're interested in that i'm going to see you on patreon and if not i'm going to see you in the next reading and i promise the next reading is going to be all about what they are like in bed okay so if you're interested in that i'm going to see you there i love you guys bye hello my beautiful pie number four so you chose this beautiful image here let's find out what kind of lover is your future spouse and um, this is going to be more overall what kind of lover they are in the next episode in case somebody's interested we're going to look at what kind of lover are they in bed <laughs> and um, i'm also going to extend this reading on patreon for anybody who's interested we're going to look at um how you will notice that they are in love with you so just to give you a heads up but let's look at your cards let's see what kind of lover is your future spouse interesting interesting story and very interesting individual i feel like your future spouse is a lover who did not believe in love anymore okay 
We have here the card yearning. It says longing for someone, undesired separation and pining. Okay, this is gonna be a story. As if one would have to read the whole book in order to understand your future spouse. So they might have like a very complex or a very interesting life story or just a very complex character. Now when I say that I'm being brought to the quote don't judge a book by its cover. I'm feeling here that with your future spouse they are not easy to understand especially in the beginning. Now when I say that it is I'm going to reveal to you why because it, 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 it almost feels like your future spouse will be a mystery to you but when I tell you what I'm about to tell you you will understand okay and maybe spirit wants you to know that about your future spouse so that you don't judge the book by its cover um, I'm feeling here that your future spouse is somebody who loves very very deeply almost to the point where it hurts okay as if they either swim in an ocean or they drown okay because we have the three of sorrow and we have the hermit card here so i want to say they got very very there's something about your future spouse got hurt or got betrayed it doesn't have to be platonic this could be they got betrayed or backstabbed by their friends their family a lover whatever it is they got disappointed quite a lot and for that reason in the beginning i love it already <laughs> in the beginning um you will notice how your future spouse might be quite shy or quite reserved you do have a lot of fun with them you enjoy yourself with them but you feel like you can feel that they're not telling something or that they sometimes act weird in certain situations okay um this could be all kinds of scenarios now i'm feeling here with your future spouse you're gonna be extremely surprised because in the beginning again they are very practical meaning um you guys are going to meet, you guys are going to have fun, but the topic of love or feelings is not going to be brought up, okay? Now, what I'm picking up here is, again, it's almost as if your future spouse has the capacity or the ability to either drown in their love or swim. So the way that they love almost feels like it's painful it's the type of love where you would take a bullet for another person i know it sounds very dramatic but it feels like your future spouse might be somebody who's quite dramatic okay um dramatic meaning um they might have experienced a lot of dramatic things in their past and they perceive love as something that could potentially make them the happiest man the happiest woman alive or it could potentially destroy them as if they cannot take another disappointment or another relationship that is not working or another back backstabbing now as you get to know this person you will see that they have a completely different side you will see that they are quite an adventurous person they <laughs> i'm seeing here they are the type of lover to really turn your life around to turn your life upside down to turn your day upside down even okay um to turn your wow i'm hearing to turn your gray daily routine into a day full of orange sunshine. I don't know if orange is maybe like a color that you feel drawn to right now or it's 
particular or specific here i don't know so you're gonna notice that they are very fun to be around and they like to i'm hearing they like to invite you to have fun to go on adventures but again when it comes to the topic love or emotions you will notice that they're holding back a little it's not easy for them to talk about it hear me out the the how do you say that the story is completely changing here okay so in the beginning you will perceive them as quite a mysterious person it's like i feel so drawn to them but sometimes they act weird and i don't know why or you're going to feel like they're quite mysterious they don't reveal everything immediately you might ask a question and they don't give like a direct answer in the beginning now i'm seeing here as you guys are taking it slow this is a slow but i'm hearing this is a slow but everlasting love so the way you guys will meet this person is a slow lover but if they fall in love it is intense Bec and they and they know themselves they know that they are that way which is the reason why they hold hold back to go into that ocean now with the eight of swords <clears throat> i'm feeling here this is a whole story it's completely different compared to all three other three piles now with you guys i'm picking up like a whole story here i'm picking up how you come into this person's life to completely throw away all their belief systems <laughs> throw it in the trash meaning if they have a particular view of women or men, you're going to be the complete opposite or you're going to prove that what they believe is not always the case or it's almost as if you come into this person's life and you're going to throw all the belief systems that they have, even like negative belief systems, you're going to, you're going to throw it all in the trash just with your existence. Your existence is going to prove to your future spouse, first of all, that true love exists, that love at first sight exists because they didn't believe in that or they were not quite sure if they do. It's something about your existence that makes them question like, what I'm thinking, is it really true? Because pen number four is standing in front of me and she's the com he or she's the complete opposite of what I believe in or She's acting completely different compared to what I'm used to or she, he or she is really challenging my belief systems just with the way that Pi number four lives, speaks, walks upon earth. So you are going to throw it all in the trash. Every belief that they have specifically about relationship, you're going to do the complete opposite and it's like a proof you're going to be a proof that what they think is trash <laughs> or um that they have like a distorted view due to what happened in the past okay so what happens here is i want to say you are initiating a spiritual awakening in your future spouse as if your existence brings them back to life and the other way around there's something about you guys will bring each other back to life or breathe in life into each other's soul now since we talk about your future spouse it's almost as if they didn't believe in love anymore or they didn't believe that they are a good lover and you might not even think that they are a good lover in the beginning because they're quite mysterious they're fun to be around don't get me wrong okay but they hold back so every time it can go further they hold back 
now as they have this awakening and I'm hearing this awakening will be because they the more time they spend with you the more they transform into a different person all of a sudden you will see that your future spouse is a lover that they're the best lover you ever had it's a contrast in the beginning you're like i'm not sure i don't know what to think about it they're quite mysterious and then all of a sudden there is an abundance they're gonna shower you with love they're gonna shower you with i love you so they're gonna but there's like a transformation that is happening within them okay they're the type of lover that wants to travel the world with you that wants to go on vacation with you there's something about I'm hearing why am I hearing that I'm hearing fallen angel why am I hearing that that is going to go deep here today it's as if it's, it's as it is as if you're gonna bring them back to life you're gonna transform them into the person that they actually are as all their belief systems are thrown in the trash your future spouse is a lover that is being reborn because of you they become a lover again and when i say lover it is somebody who loves life or it's just in general i'm hearing only lovers left alive by jna a co there's something about your future spouse you transform them okay there's a big transformation that is happening within them most definitely come there's a complete turnaround here once they come in contact with your skin with your words with your presence it's going to change them big time here okay oh my god i'm hearing you make them believe in happily ever after or that you make them believe in like you make them believe in love again okay I'm picking up an energy here where your future spouse now despite of all the pain that they went through look at that we say we say the pain the pain that they went through and that's the bottom of the deck despite the pain that they went through they didn't really lose hope but they started to become very very cautious to the point where they didn't let people in anymore and then when you are in their presence you're going to notice sorry guys i'm just checking the time you're going to notice that they open up more and more and more and i'm seeing here an energy where your future spouse is going to really put an effort so and we have the king of wands here yes baby baby i love that because we have the king and the queen of wands so from somebody who's holding back they turn into somebody who has so much passion that it is overwhelming okay i'm hearing there are a lover that likes to put in the work meaning they are somebody that wants to know i'm hearing tell me what you tell me what you want or tell me what you love and i'm trying to become that or i'm trying to do that for you it's as if they want to learn to be a lover again or they really want to learn what makes you happy okay 
and I'm seeing here this is going to be somebody that is going to put a lot of effort this is a lover that likes to put in effort they like to show you that they are here with you now again in the beginning they have a little bit of like um, a blockage okay I'm feeling here once this trust issue and again it's not because of you it's because of what happened in the past here yeah once this trust issue is gone i feel like they are a very very adventurous type of lover um when i say adventurous i mean <laughs> they want to have sex all around the world don't ask me why they want to have sex in different locations in different countries for some reason this might be something that they have in their mind or um, you're gonna notice that especially when you guys are on vacation they're really gonna Ooh, why did I feel it <laughs> um, it's like once you guys are on vacation or they really like to take trips with you this might even be like in the city or like um, from city to city um, there's something about as a person they want to travel the world with you they want to really they want to explore paradise with you or um places that look like paradise and that feel like paradise okay and you're gonna notice how how much they desire you they the desire was completely like um as if they didn't let the desire that they have out and then once you guys overcome this energy in the beginning, okay, because it's going to happen naturally. There's nothing that you really have to do. It is just your presence. But once this, once they become familiar with you and your energy, you are going to notice that this person cannot let, cannot take their hands off of you. This is a lover that they could have you everywhere. And at any time meaning like they cannot get enough of you you will also notice that they like to just touch you and be in contact with your body for no reason and i'm also picking up an energy here pie number four there might be a very significant call in this story a significant call Okay. Now, oh my goodness gracious, do you know what I'm just, um, I'm hearing you will see the love that they have for you in their eyes. You will know that they love you, it's in their eyes, but did they say it? They didn't, in the beginning, okay? In the beginning it, it will be a little bit hard for them to express what they feel but once they do it's you guys are gonna have like a lot of fun I'm picking up it's like a you guys will be a couple you guys will be a couple that really enjoys life but I specifically want to say um, that enjoys to be alive We have the sun card here, bottom of the deck. Let's see. What kind of lover is your future spouse? Pile number four. The Ace of Cups. This <laughs> Your future spouse is a lover that has so much love to give that it is almost painful. So they don't. But then when they meet you it, I'm gonna be honest I'm picking up it's like when you hold everything back and then boom all of a sudden everything comes out so I wouldn't be surprised if if you're gonna be a little bit overwhelmed in the beginning because again in the beginning it's like very friendly very like funny but you know like the topic love or the topic relationship is gonna be like you know not in the forefront but then once they open up to you oh goodness gracious you're gonna feel like i've never been 
I've never felt so much love. I never felt this love before. How do you say it like that? That was not proper English. It's like their their love is so intense. I'm picking up like Scorpio energy to be honest. It's like their love is so intense. So when they do express that love to you, I would say your future spouse is the intense lover. They are their eyes speak. The way that they hug you, it's all intense. The way that they make you feel after sex, it's intense. It's all intense here. It's as intense as the waves of an ocean, okay? Three of Wands. And the sun is in the bottom of the deck all the damn time. It's as if you make them believe in love again. To be honest, you make them believe that true love exists. I'm hearing that you will humble them a little bit. Okay, don't get me wrong, but it's like, um, there's something about the love between the two of you being like a very, I'm hearing it's like a very interesting love story that you guys will have. And you're going to be very, very happy with this person. They might even reflect a little bit of that energy to you. Maybe both of you went through the same energy here. Because I'm picking up an energy of, I'm looking into my reflection. As if you guys are healing each other from the same issue. Okay. And then there's two birds that are intensely in love with each other. <laughs> what kind of lover is your future spouse? Let's get a few less cards and then I'm gonna go to the extended. Okay. What kind of lover is your future spouse? What kind of lover are they? They are a very grateful lover. They're grateful. The way that they express love for you is they're going to tell you how grateful they are that they met you. There's something about them perceiving you as a blessing or them telling you how much you made them believe in love again or how grateful they are that you are in their life. So this is like they are a very grateful person here. Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Yeah, there's an there's a, an aspect of mirroring each other. Okay, Ace of Swords. There's an aspect of mirroring each other. In the beginning, they don't want to... <laughs> do you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing in the beginning, they don't want to get too attached to you because it can hurt them. And then you guys are like Siamese twins or like Siamese cats or something like that. And then all of a sudden, you are inseparable. Do you see that? In the beginning, like, there's an energy of taking it slowly, okay? Um, but again, I feel like there's an energy of there will be a mirror of you. They will be a mirror of you. But at the same time, I'm hearing they're gonna they're gonna bring you to cloud nine. Cause like with this um the clouds in the back, there's something about cloud nine. There's something about experiencing heavenly moments together. I'm also picking up an energy of healing each other or healing together. This is going to be a lover that is bringing you back to life, that is healing you, but you are also healing them. This happens vice versa here. Okay. Okay, my beautiful pie number four. I am going to extend this reading on Patreon now. We're going to look at how you will notice that they are in love with you because they're kind of mysterious here. <laughs> So if you're interested in that, I'm going to see you on my Patreon and if not, I'm going to see you on my next one. Bye.